Hey everyone, um, I'm pretty excited because um, over the past couple of days I learned something new about Mac. Um, for a while I was pretty disappointed and upset about um, like when things don't work right. One face near right edge. But Amazon Kindle, the Kindle app, uh, I use it on my iPad and my iPhone all the time. And I used to use it on Mac all the time and it allowed me to either read using my refreshable braille display, which is this. Um, and I know I've, I've featured it in other videos, but when you turn it on, these dots show up and you can read what's on the screen. And one face near right edge. When centered. When the app was broken, for Mac on uh, for Kindle, Near right I was edge. just bummed because VoiceOver wouldn't interact with it at all. Um, it saw the image of the page, but it wouldn't actually read what was on the page. It would just read the title of the book. Um, but now it reads the whole page, like what's written there, and I can uh, one face near right edge. I can access any book in my library that I would like to, and I can open them and close them and use my braille display whenever I want and it connects great and automatically, which is very nice. The Orbit reader will connect automatically to um, like an Amazon tablet or an iPad or a Mac or whatever device um, you're using it with, um, Android. And now it works again. So I'm so pumped. Like you have no- One face like, near right edge. People that rely on screen readers and other, um, accessible accessibility needs with technology we rely on it so much we rely on people maintaining products uh you know apps everything and the screen reader is designed to be able to read what's on the screen and we we navigate using the screen reader using commands that we know one face near right edge um whether it's touch uh, gestures or key commands, you know, with a computer. So whenever something goes from not working right and to working perfectly again, oh, it just makes me, oh, it just turns my world around. And I wasn't using my Mac anymore because like once I can't like use it for something like really important or something that I use on a regular basis, I stopped kind of using that One face near right technology, edge. piece of technology. So uh, I just like totally. And so I'm appreciative. Thank you. Thank you, Amazon and Kindle, the people behind it that took time to figure out what's going on with Mac and why it's not interacting. Like the fact that they fixed it, whether they realize they fixed it or not, which I had assume they realize because they have people that uh, are specifically in teams to work on Amazon Kindle for every product. One face near right edge. assume how that works. I don't know um, for sure. But I th I'm so appreciative like to have that piece of technology working now. And it's like I, <laughs> I'm like abandoning everything else now, you know. So I do hope it continues. I hope it doesn't break again. And that's the thing is like, an app could be working perfectly on an on any given device and then like something happens the next update and it breaks again one face near right and edge. it's frustrating you know when something works great and then it doesn't and it's even more for people like me who rely on a special accessibility uh type of system and then when it doesn't work right it's like we can't we can't uh use th that specific platform you know like uh um, Zoom is a great platform for voiceover users with our phone, and uh, I feel like it's a great platform. And I, I'm excited right edge. for our, the future because there's so much technology out there, and there's so much in the world going on, like cars and driving themselves, and like uh, AI and so much. And I know it can be used in extremely harmful and bad ways, but when it's used for a good cause, that's amazing. And I'm just so thankful. Thank you, Amazon, for fixing Kindle for Mac for voiceover users. I, I'm so appreciative of you guys. I, yeah. Thanks for watching. One face near right edge. I just, oh, and here's a little snip uh, of, of me Centered. looking at a book over here, real quick uh, on Kindle. I mean, on Mac. 
The Girls in the Attic, Rainy Paxton Series, Dearth, Age, Kindle, and Believe Like a Child, Home Street Home Series Book, The Girl Who Survived, a riveting novel of suspense with a shocking twist. So those Jackson, are my books Lisa, that I can read limited. now. The Girl Who Survived, a riveting, did he threaten you, the DA, a tall woman with sleek, near right edge, sharp features, and asked, yes, near bottom right edge, why. what did he say, Lacey near right edge, and then whispered, that he would kill me, he would kill you, one face near right edge, I was with, Lacey swallowed, so that's, so it's reading my book, I'm so thankful, thank you, Amazon, thank you. My tablet just am. Aw, Amazon just said you're welcome. Aw, and I think all of our Amazon like um like tablets and like the speakers. I think they know we have cats because One they always right yell edge. at us now. Whenever like I'm like, hey, what's the weather? It has nothing to do with cats, and it's like meow. The weather is. I mean, they're so. Like, the devices, like, they have politeness to them, and it's like they get you, you know? They're, like, feeding into your interest or something, like, you know? It's a, a gadget, but still. It's like when someone acknowledges you, it's like, oh, well, they're definitely not narcissistic, because they're, like, acknowledging Centered. and, you know? One face near right edge. They're not, uh, like, Centered. what? That's not your world. What are you talking about? Near right about? edge. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Stop recording video. Button.